I'm Min from Malaysia and right now I'm in Bandung, Indonesia. This is Kawa Putih. Enjoy watching Fun for the Wee. Bye. It's 6 a.m. We've just arrived in Picton on the South Island and uh, we're just about to get off the ferry and I have no idea, literally no idea, how I'm getting down to Queen's Town. I think I'm going to try and hitch a ride. How did you sleep, Nikki? about anything else, I think it's breakfast time. So we've finished breakfast and uh, this breakfast place has kindly given me a bit of cardboard and a pen to write Christchurch, which is the first place I'm trying to hitchhike to. I'm gonna let Nikki write it down because I have terrible handwriting. Um, but this is a good start, I think. Uh, unfortunately, she's not coming with me. She's staying in um, Picton, but she's going to help me, hopefully. Nikki's doing a really good job. <laughs> she kind of uh, <laughs> misjudged the spacing a little bit, but it's okay because we haven't barely slept, so I think it's a good excuse. Guys, I have the package it's safe in my bag, and we're about to start hitchhiking down. Right, let's go and see how friendly and kind people are in Picton. <laughs> Guys, we've had an incident. Okay. Do you want me to give you a hand? Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, just put your bags on it, that's smart. No more penny boarding. The batteries are pretty heavy in my bag, so we've discovered a, a way to transport them easily. I feel like I'm taking my pet bag for a walk. Louis' method of the hitch. See if it gets him a ride. <laughs> we have found our spot, and I'm gonna start the stopwatch and see how long it takes to get picked up. Guys, somehow I just took my phone out my pocket to check the time and it and I dropped it and it just shattered. First time I smashed my iPhone 6 screen. That's severe as well. I can see the electronics inside. Hopefully it hopefully it still works. This guy has pulled over to take me. Oh, so oh yeah. yeah. See you later. Hey, <laughs> okay, nine minutes. Tony. It took me about 20 minutes, half an hour in the right direction, so it's a, it's a good start. I'm gonna get my sign out again. Oh, boy, literally two minutes. What's your name? Louis. My name's Thomas. Thomas. Nice to meet you, Louis. Nice to meet you, Thomas. Hello, what's your name? Anne Marie. I'm Louis. Louis. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. So this is Thomas and Anne-Marie and they've been giving me a lift further down towards Christchurch and we just stopped off oh, for some pancakes. They've yes. made some pancakes so we're going to have uh, a second breakfast. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Thanks for the lift. Yeah, fun taking you with us. Yeah. Great pancake. Thank <laughs> Dutch you. Dutch pancake. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Look at this for you guys. So cool that we just randomly stopped for a break 
and there's a bunch of seals just chilling here. So Thomas and Anne-Marie have dropped me off in a town somewhere, I don't know where we are. And uh, I'm now going to try and hitch for my third ride to Christchurch. Well guys, the package is still secure and we are halfway to Christchurch. Guys, check this out, there's whale watching flights. Whale watching flights. I want to go and watch whales. I think I found the perfect spot. It's uphill, so cars aren't going too fast. And there's a lay-by for them to pull over. I'm hoping this works. Well, I haven't had much luck here either, guys. And I'm beginning to think of other options because I'm exhausted. I've only slept two hours in the ferry. And uh, no one's stopping for some reason. Guys, I have messed up big time. I was so tired when I was in Thomas and Anne-Marie's car that I didn't get my laptop out the back so I was showing them a video. Um, I didn't put it back in my bag. I just checked, I literally just realised. Uh, I don't know where they've gone, I'm going to need to try and contact them somehow. This is a disaster. I cannot believe that happened. This truly has turned into quite an adventure. Smashed my phone today. Struggled to get a lift, and the uh, the second lift I did get left my laptop in their car. I'm guessing they'll try and contact me. They know what my YouTube channel is and Instagram and stuff. That's probably their only means of contacting me. I've got the number plate of the car because I looked at my vlog, and I can hear in the vlog them telling me that they are going to be leaving from Christchurch tomorrow. So one plan is hope they check the internet. Well, hope they find my laptop then hope they get on the internet, track me down, and somehow we can meet each other in Christchurch tomorrow. This does mean that my mission to get the batteries to the guys has been slightly delayed. Uh, I might not be able to get there till tomorrow now. I've got a potential plan. If I can find out which rental company they used, I could phone the rental company, tell them the number plate, and their names and see if the rental company have contact information like a phone number. So I paused my vlog on their number plate and I'm going to now try and google that number plate and somehow see if I can search who their car belongs to, what rental company and then go from there. I have found this website where you might be able to get vehicle facts by putting in the plate so let's check this. If this doesn't work I'm going to try and find the police and see if they can track it down. Oh, oh, this is kind of cool. I'm making progress, guys. I feel like a detective. So I got through to a number. A guy answered, and he confirmed that this guy Thomas, uh, I couldn't remember, he said his, his surname, Thomas somebody, had rented the car, and he's going to try and contact them. They le they've left a, an overseas number, which is a Dutch number. So he's going to try and le get a message through to them and explain that their laptop's been left. Uh, and I've left him my email and number to get back hold of me. So this might actually work. I might be able to get through to him. The rental company, according to the number he gave me, was his Asta Cars. Um, so, wow, I, I can't believe I've managed to get through to someone. This is crazy. Well, as romantic as the idea seemed, I think I'm going to uh, give up on the hitchhiking. Uh, it was pretty cool, had some awesome conversations today with people. But I am going to catch a bus to Christchurch uh, and I'm going to continue my investigation there because I do know that uh, Thomas and Anne Marie are going to be there tomorrow and I'm just praying that they contact me. So, this is my new mode of transport down to Christchurch. Two hitchhikes and a bus so far. <laughs> Well guys, I've arrived in Christchurch and uh, I'm waiting for my cousin to come and pick me up. But also, unfortunately, I have failed the mission that I set out to do, um, delivering the batteries to Devon and the crew. Uh, I won't be able to get to Queenstown tonight now because I'm ha having to hang around and trying to figure out where my laptop is. 
Um, so, Devon is organised for someone to come and pick the batteries up from me. So I'm just waiting for her and she's kindly offered to drive all the way over to Queenstown and continue the mission and deliver uh, the battery so the guys can film tomorrow and, and uh, it doesn't disturb the schedule of shooting. But I'm a failure basically. Mission failed. Uh, and then hopefully I can make my way over to join the guys tomorrow. Um, but I, I feel kind of gutted. So this is Ashton, she's going to take the battery, she's going to continue the mission, take them to Devon and the crew. Thank you for doing this, it's so kind Hi. of you. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. Bye. Thank you. This is my cousin Abby. She's Welcome coming to meet to me. Oh, thank you. How long have you been living here? Um, for about a year. Yeah. Abby is taking me on a little tour of Christchurch, and um, basically there was an earthquake here. For those of you that don't know, in 2011, and uh, there's a lot of the buildings have been ripped down, or there's like still buildings that are like boarded up, and um, there's also this um, thing that's been built called the Cardboard Cathedral, which is what's it like a thing for hope yeah for like they'll restore the city yeah like, like a symbol of restoration there it is cardboard cathedral back of it and then there's the white chairs that they symbolize in the back of it. oh and this is a memorial for all the people that were killed in the earthquake been like emergency housing provided for the people and stuff? Uh, they get insurance to pay for a, 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 like, like rent certain amount, yeah, certain amount of rent. had a relaxed evening we had food together and then just chatted and watched the sunset and it was good just seeing my auntie and uncle and cousin and um, it's perfect timing actually and I was even saying to them it weirdly worked out well that I lost my laptop today because it meant I've had to stay and uh, to try and um, track it down tomorrow um, which might sound crazy to you guys, but it's it's kind of it's work. It's meant I've got to spend more time with my family here, and um, I've been because because my auntie and uncle are visiting from the UK here. Um, Abby is giving them her bedroom. She's in the spare bedroom, and I've been given the garage, which thankfully has this amazing bed in. I think they're storing it, but um, I'm going to get a really good night's sleep, and I I do need it. I, Slept for like two hours uncomfortably on the ferry last night. Um, so yeah, it's been a very strange day and uh, I'm just hoping the laptop situation sorts itself out tomorrow and and um, and I can go and meet up with the rest of the team. I may have missed out some of the beautiful scenery in Queenstown but um, we've got a few days down there so it'll be fun. Right, see you in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life and live the adventure. Boom.